hi guys you are welcome to my youtube channel uh today we'll be looking at how we can scalp uh boom index and crash index on the lower time frames uh but before we go to the lower time frames let's look at what has happened on the higher time frames i'm on boom 1000 index on the daily time frame and uh the daily time frame has been uh uh bearish but now we have like a trend line break. We have like a change of character on the daily time frame where we have this breakout. We have this uh, a bottom around here. Okay. We have another bottom around here. And then we have another bottom around here. But like invited, inverted head and shoulder. Look at the break of the neckline. And look at this we might see a retest before price starts to go up and we might expect price to go up and price could just start to go down but that's that for boom 1000 on the daily time frame let's look at the four hour time frame uh for our time frame we can see a bullish uh, structure bullish, bullish structure what do i mean by bullish structure uh we have uh, a low around here this is a low this is our low Okay, we have a high. Uh, this is our high on the four hour time frame, boom, 1000 index. Then we have a higher low. This low is higher than this low. Okay, and then we have the break of structure of this particular high. Uh, look at the break of structure. For us to have a higher high, we are going to have a higher high, and I suspect we might be having higher low next. Okay, we might be having higher low next. We might see price. Uh, dropping to this initial high okay you can see price dropping to the initial this initial high so the cave was to now have price going up and breaking this structure so but i might be wrong price could just break here and then come back to this low to this particular low around here but anything can happen so that is the four hour time frame price is then a bullish structure look for uh ways to buy the boom 1000 index currently looking at the four hour time frame we can see this uh bearish engulfing that has taken price down okay will price go further down or will it start to rise uh only time will tell for us to have a break or a double top only time will tell let's look at boom one thousand index on the one hour time frame we can see the one hour time frame like a double top on the one hour time frame uh this is the uh, first top uh, this is the second top, okay, on the one hour time frame. Uh, this is the neckline, okay. Look at the break, but price is trying to go back up. Is this going back up or a retest? Only time will tell. But for now, we have an established uh, double top pattern. Okay, let's look at the 30 minutes time frame. On the 30 minutes time frame, boom, 1000 index, we can see it's ranging. On the 30 minutes time frame, this is our range low, okay. Uh, this is our range high okay so we, all we need to do is wait for uh the range break it's going to break to the upside the range going to break to the upside or it's going to drop lower only time will tell us wait for it and see how price action unfolds for boom 1000 index looking at boom 1000 index 15 minutes time frame uh this is what i have i have this this low around here we have a low around here we have a low around here then we can see a lower eye. It's a lower eye. Not sure it's as high as the initial eye. Okay. No, as high as there. So a lower high or a double top. Then we can see a lower low. Okay. It's a lower low. Now for the trend to continue downwards, we need uh, a lower, we need a lower high, another lower high somewhere around here. Then we need a lower low for us to now assume oh, it's going down but for now price could just go back to the top for us to have a triple top or a break to, of structure to the upside that's that for the 15 minutes time frame for the uh five minutes time frame is ranging you can see this descent huh? you can see price descending okay we can see a break of the descending trend line in this area I is this going to be a retest for price to continue up let, let's just wait and see if there's going to be a spike. If there's a spike around here, then oh wow, 
so it's going up it's spiking up to the top it's gonna to go to the top okay possibly to the top around here so but, but overall on the higher time frame is bullish is bullish looking at these two candles is bullish let's get the one minute time frame uh it's spiking up so look for buying opportunities on boom 1000 index okay look for buying opportunities if you are going to scalp buy right now the drawdown is the drawdown if you scalp buy at this point your stop loss could be somewhere around here okay it's advisable you buy uh boom 1000 do not try to sell boom 1000 if you try to sell boom 1000 and you place your stop loss at the top spike and blow away your stop loss and it might not work okay so that's that for boom 1000 let's look at crash 1000 index on the daily time frame crash 1000 index it has something like uh, a double top okay forming double top forming this is the first top uh this is the second top this is a double top forming okay on the daily time frame the neckline of the double top should be somewhere around here let's see how it unfolds let's see how it unfolds is it going to complete the double top or is price going to go up only time will tell let's see what happens let's look at the four hour time frame for crash 1000 index four hour time frame uh is still bearish it's still bearish you can see this low we can see uh this high uh we have a low and we have a lower high this is a lower high on the four hour time frame crash 1000 index and then we have a lower low so more like price is trying to give us another lower high but let's look at the trend line another lower high before we now have a lower low and price might come to this other bucket but let's look at the trend line first uh the trend line is currently like this so if price breaks this trend line to the uh upside around here if it breaks this trend line price might target this other block on the four hour time frame this other block on the four hour time frame if that breaks again price might target this other block on the four hour time frame but if it continues to spike downwards for us to have a double a full double top on the daily time frame we continue to spike downwards on the four hour time frame we have another block around here this is another block the support where we expect price to get to then we have a final one here where we expect price to get to before we can see uh, something like a neckline a test or a neckline break on the daily but this is the four hour time frame is currently uh, going down okay on the four hour time frame still on the four on the, looking at the one hour time frame what do we have on the one hour time frame on the one hour time frame this is what we have okay on the one hour time frame we have a descending trend line price needs to break this descending trend line for us to conclude that price is gonna go up it needs to break this descending trend line for us to conclude that it's gonna go up okay but for now trend is bearish on the one hour time frame let's look at the 30 minutes time frame price of crash 1000 index 30 minutes time frame you can see a retracement of this particular down move okay within fibonacci tools you can see a retracement price is currently trying to test the 38.2 percent fibonacci level okay we still have another uh, a, a level of resistance at the 50 percent fibonacci level and we have another resistance at the 61.8 percent fibonacci level okay so price is trying to the buyers are trying to step in okay but if the sellers should come in at this point we might see a test of this other block around here okay that's crash one crash one thousand on the 30 minutes time frame on the 15 minutes time frame we can see something like inverted in that shoulder this is the left shoulder uh this is the head uh this is the right shoulder okay look at the neckline this is the neckline okay inverted head and shoulder on the 15 minutes time frame and price is currently going up okay so meaning the buyers are trying to retrace uh price or reverse price as the case may be at the end of the day let's look at crash 1000 five minutes time frame five minutes time frame shows that there are lesser spikes to the downside and more pushed by the buyers the buyers are currently in charge on the five minutes time frame buyers might be looking at this particular uh point as the next tip profit 
the buyers might also be looking at this particular point as the next take profit okay and also we have another point here as the next uh, take profit uh, areas okay but as time goes on right we might start seeing spikes okay but if the price is going to spike up we have two descending trend lines price should spike if price is going to spike down so we have two descending trend lines price will spike down to break this okay rise a bit and then spike downward again to break this descending trend line for price to target uh the uh, zones below okay so that's that for the five minutes for one minute time frame looking at crash 1000 index currently buying currently buying we have lesser spikes and in fact on the one minute time frame we have a uh, higher higher high okay we have a high we have a, a low this is a low this is a low around here this is a high this higher low and this higher low we have this higher high that is higher high then we have this higher low okay well on the one minute is this going to be a double top i doubt it as i expect price to continue to go up for now on the one minute time frame so that that for crash 1000 index let's quickly run to uh boom 500 index boom 500 index on the daily time frame you can see something like a double top this is the first top this is our first top and this is the second top this is the second top for us to have something like a double top okay that's for uh boom 500 index okay on the daily time frame but the overall trend is bullish the overall trend on the daily time frame for boom uh 500 is bullish okay trend line trend lines are being respected okay respected here respected here respected here and we don't see the price testing the trend lines for now as the current daily can do the current daily can do is already turning bullish okay look at this pin bar uh showing the buyer the buyers are able to step in and push price back price got to this level for us to uh look at it as if it's going to go down it's a break a break of this structure here I see if price is going to go down, but look at the buyer stepped in and push price up. Meanwhile, price had already cleared the stop losses in, the, in this area. So, look, look at now, the buyers are still pushing price up for today. So, um, we have a double top, but the overall structure is a bullish structure. Let's look at the four hour time frame. What do we have on the four hour time frame? We can see a range on the four hour time frame. You can see this range, uh, more like a flag. Okay, but we have a range okay is it going to be a bullish flag at the end of the day i'm going to see price going up already the current for our candle is showing a rise based and the rise okay so that could be an a bullish indication so we expect price to continue to spike up back to the top of the range around here to this top of the channel around here okay let's see what happens on the one hour time frame one hour time frame we can see like a bullish structure okay this is a low the one hour time frame we have a low we have this low uh we have this high okay we have this high we have this higher low we have this higher low and we have this higher high okay higher high okay and then we are having currently having this low higher low is a, this low this particular low is higher than this low and it's higher than this low so higher low higher high so we might be seeing a higher high look at a rise base rise okay and seeing a break of this current structure we may see a break of this current structure as by as price spikes up so that's that for boom 500 index on the one hour time frame let's look at boom 500 index on the 30 minutes time frame it's obvious look at this deep look at this price deep and then look at this long candle okay and golfing was on the left okay so we might and look at the spikes look at the spikes uh look at the look at the pin bars okay showing the power of the bulls of the buyers okay long pin bars to the downside showing that the buyers are keep 
reversing whatever the sellers are doing so we might be looking at a spike up to the 3770 area okay based on this uh dip here my and the breakout of this particular structure we might see price spiking to 3770 area okay only time will tell so look for buying opportunities for boom 500 index from now look at the buyers are in control the sellers are able to push price down to this point but the, since then price has been going up okay price has been going up been going up going up on the 15 minutes time frame okay we might get to this point price might get to this point and start to dip okay but for now it's going up okay uh five minutes time frame boom 500 index price is spiking up just try and catch the spike as it goes up try and catch the spike price will need to break this low first for you to uh sell scalp sell but for now look for scalp buying opportunities if you are going to scalp, scalp buy on the five minutes time frame let's look at it okay the five minutes time frame this could be your stop loss you draw down we stop guy at this point you might place your stop loss around here it's always good to buy look for more buying opportunities on on boom one thousand our stop loss does not respect stop loss at the top is not respected by the spike the spike can push at the stop loss when placing stop loss in a selling mode can push price up uh, uh, price can push stop loss up but it's better to buy so if you buy as price comes down gradually to your stop loss it won't push it downward but it will trigger it and that will be okay that will be fine with your account let's look at the one minute time frame ranging we are ranging on the one minute time frame uh, but this pack this current pack has you know broken the structure here so we might be looking at another spike in the next moment you might be seeing another spike as price comes to this trend line you might see another spike for for that upside okay look for buying opportunities and if you are going to catch the spike or you want to buy this might be your stop loss I place your stop loss here on the one minute time frame I place your stop loss here that's that for boom one to, boom 500 index let's quickly go to uh boom uh, crash 500 index on the daily time frame we're, we are going to rush this on the daily time frame we can see a range crash crash 500 fa crash 500 index we are seeing a range where price is ranging on the daily time frame this is the range top and this is the range bottom we can see the buyers trying to take price up around here okay and we can see the sellers trying to push price down but that's for that for crash uh 500 on the on the daily time frame on the one hour time frame we have a bullish uh run price is trying to go up okay we need to see a break of this trend line to the downside for us to catch the spike when it's going down uh, that's for, that for four hour time frame for one hour time frame it's going up it's bullish uh you may need to buy if you like to buy if you like to place place trade against the spike you may need you may need to buy and target this stock uh on the one hour time frame okay uh for 30 minutes time frame price is bullish look at the structure it's a bullish structure on the 30 minutes time frame so you may need to buy crash 500 uh, on the 15 minutes time frame look at inverted head and shoulder this is the left shoulder head right shoulder is high look at the neckline this is your neckline it's buying neckline is broken it's buying uh let's look at the five minutes time frame uh crash 500 five minutes time frame let's look at the five minutes time frame looking at the five minutes time frame we have a bullish uh run price is forming higher higher this is a low this is a high higher higher low higher high higher low higher high okay on the one minute time frame it's currently buying and you can see less spikes with downside so that's that for this particular video don't forget to click the subscribe button to your saw drop comment ask question and drop comment below the video you can click the bell button for notification we have our website www.bnfxtrader.com you can visit the website we also have another website fxtradewolves.com you can visit these two websites to learn more on how to trade boom and crash Till I come your way tomorrow, it's bye for now.